Facebook is paying a billion dollars to buy a company that does not have a big presence on computers. Instead, it's a mobile-focused company. Jenna Wortham, a tech writer here, joins us to discuss the focus on mobile apps. Hey, Jenna. Hi, Louise. How are you? Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. So this is so interesting because you would think, you know, a tech company would be all about their website. And what you wrote in your story today is that a lot of companies are just skipping the computer and, and designing things for cell phones. Tell us about some of those. That's right. Well, smartphones have become so ubiquitous um, that it's much easier to build a self-contained social network just that resides solely on the mobile phone, which is a huge shift from years ago, where having a web presence was practically mandatory in order to get the message out to people that would use it. Mm -hmm. And so what are some of the companies that are focusing on mobile apps rather than the computer? Well, the main company we focused on was Instagram, which, as you know, Facebook bought for a billion dollars. Um, we also looked at Path, which is a social network that lets you share with a select group of your friends. There's Foursquare, which is a local, a location-based check-in app. Um, and there's a new service called EveryMe that we looked at, which looks at your address book and your Facebook friends and tries to figure out who you'd want to send pictures and share messages with. So these are all um, consumer internet companies. They're, right. they're making things for consumers because, you know, the other thing we have going on right now in tech and the venture capital space is this push for big data and that's really for companies that are crunching data. Are those, are they looking at cell phones or is this kind of a divergence? More consumer stuff on phones and more business stuff on computers? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, I think right now what we're seeing is a lot of interest in social networks because we're sort of moving to an era where people like to share on the go and you know if you're on a vacation and you're on the beach you actually want to share the photo from the beach at that moment rather than wait till you get home and upload all the pictures to Facebook. So there's a lot of interest in apps that kind of facilitate that kind of behavior at the moment but we'll probably see that shift down the line. Mm -hmm. And so what about the big companies Facebook and Google you know Facebook was started as a computer based website. Right. What are they doing for mobile apps? Well, this is sort of their strategy in terms of future-proofing how they think people will use mobile phones in the future. I mean, we already know that Facebook, nearly half of their users access the site through a mobile phone. Mm -hmm. And right now, their mobile presence is a bit weaker than it should be. So this is sort of how they're thinking about trying to make sure that they're ready for a mobile-centric future. By buying this company? By buying Instagram and, and trying to repair in that sense, yeah. But are the, are the big players doing anything in-house, you know, building in-house mobile features? What kind of things are they making? Absolutely. I mean, all the big companies are trying to figure out what their mobile strategy is. Is. Um, but they're not as successful at it as a startup like Instagram has been. I mean, the smaller companies are sort of having a bit more success than the bigger companies at adapting to the future. And now what about, you know, in the mobile area, you have Apple with very prescribed rules around mm -hmm. how Apple apps have to be, and then other systems like the Google-based systems are more open. I mean, is it challenging to break into the mobile area because you have to deal with all these different systems? Well, you know, it's actually even easier than starting a website and attracting the audience for it because you have a built-in distribution mechanism. So the phone, the phone, exactly. Or the so, iPad, or the, or the iPad, or an Android tablet. device. So you build your app, you release it, and instantly you're in an app store and you've got access to hundreds of millions of customers. Which, if you have a website, it's a lot harder to kind of get, you know. How do people you know, find you? Yeah, how do they how do know about you? you? Exactly. That, that's yeah. an inter that's an interesting change. Well, thanks yeah. so much for joining us. Oh, my pleasure.